Hi everyone, G. Lee here, and we are back with making something from nothing. And <clears throat> I'm featuring more scraps today. Um, as you can see, I have three things here. I have a journaling card that I made a petal flower from. Um, it's just a halfy. You can make whole ones. This is a journaling card as well that I made up and uh, yeah and then this one is my prototype which is a journaling card um, you can make ATCs you can make birthday cards greeting cards anything your heart desires uh, all you have to do is put a greeting and put it on a card base and you're done this is my prototype so it will be going in my journal <laughs> because as you can see I uh, didn't pay attention and my leaf went sideways before it dried um, and then I just you need circle punches any kind size shape form whatever you want you can use anything you ain't gotta have a circle it can be a square or star whatever you want to put in the middle of your flower that's what we're gonna do today and before anybody asks this is how you make your petals um, I learned from my mistakes. Don't make them giant. Make them medium like this or very tiny. Um, so I just took scrapbook and paper. Um, it's easier if you're using single sheeted paper and it's thin like uh, book pages or whatever. But I did do some with this. And you just act like you're cutting out a leaf. Uh, I know y'all done hearts. Um, you just don't put the, uh, you don't, you know, cut it. And none of them are going to be the same. None of them are going to be the same. Every one of them is going to be different. And just take your uh, <clears throat> paper and cut to your heart's content. I think that one's a little... And like I said, none of them are going to be the same. Same size, same shape, <clears throat> nothing. I'm going to get these tips off of here. You can leave them if you like them. I just don't. Um, but yeah, so there's three right there. Three different sizes from that one little scrap. Now I can throw this away. And uh, I'll show you on the bigger piece. And this is just book page. Um, and uh, this is the big ones and I don't like those um, you can turn it either way to make your petals um, but I'm going to make this a little smaller because I will be using it <clears throat> as you can see I used book paper on this and it was some of this same book And uh, they ain't got to be perfect because most of it, as you see, is hid. It's just the top part that's going to be seen. And I'm going to make a small one. Small ones are used to, I keep the small ones because you may want to, you know, stick something behind. There you go, see? Um, so I don't glue anything but the very tip until I'm finished. Then if you want to, you can do it. Now, you don't have to double your paper like I did. You can just cut them out. If you have a stencil, stencil them out and cut them. Um, or a die cut. A lot of people that I've seen do this are using die cuts or punches. Um, they have leaf punches. And they just use them for the petals. But anyway, <clears throat> let me get these out of the way. And I'm going to demonstrate how I do it. Uh, you may find a way that's easier for you. And I have all my circles that I'd gotten years ago from Miss Edie. I went over there with a lot of paper and just punched it, or I borrowed her punch and punched out lots of circles, different colors. And um, <clears throat> so, uh, uh oh, I dropped it. Sorry. Hold on just a second. I'm going to use this as a journaling card, <clears throat> and uh, I dropped my leaves and everything. I had everything prepared, 
and then I dropped them. And as you can see, this is going to be a mixture of uh, pinks and everything. So yeah, just whatever you've got, use it. Um, then you want to place it on the side wherever you want it. Um, if you want your base here, um, now we can do it this way as well, and I can do it that way. That way I'll have one that way. And get your glue, your choice. Um, and I just put a little bit at the base. Then I just set it down because you can remove it quickly if needed. Um, let's see. I think I'm going to. Right, we started with that. And I'm going to take this one. And. Okay. No, I don't like that. Okay. Um, let's put this pink one. It's going to be my center. Okay. Now these are a medium size. And I did that on purpose. So that uh, it would fill up faster. Now you can double, triple layer these. Um, I just prefer that they are uh, single. And I know you saw that I had done. Um, uh oh, okay, I messed up. Okay. Uh, let's see, I can pull it up. That's what I like about it. Now, what I'm going to do is lift this up and put this here and I can cut it. Okay. And then we're going to put this one down. Put it down. And we're going to take my last one because I want, you know, kind of even now, I don't like this being fat. Um, and I think I'm going to put it under here. Uh, but <clears throat> I just do it from edge to edge because I like it that way. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. Here we go. And then I had a circle that I cut out with my scallop, uh, small circle scallop. And I'm just going to put it there. Um, you do it to where it looks good to you. Um, is all I can tell you. And uh, it's very simple. Um, and I leave mine open just in case I want to tuck something in there. I'm not going to. Uh, but just in case you did, you can do that. Turn it over and I cut off the excess. If you don't want to, you don't have to. This is yours. You can do what you want. This is just the way I do it. It's still gluey. So there we go. And uh, then I go and I'll take. Where is it? I have lost my. Bet it failed. There's no telling where it's at. But you know what? It doesn't really matter. I'll take black soot, <clears throat> distress ink, and uh, just go like this. I, I know you're supposed to do this. That drives me nuts. And this is flimsy, but I'll do it anyway because that's what everybody does. Um, and it just. Uh, I like doing this. You don't have to do this, uh, but I think it accentuates it and brings it out. And uh, yeah, so I just used scrap papers and made my petals with those. Um, and like I said, I already had the circles, so you could take more scraps and make your circles. Um, use circles that we did earlier. Some of them are the ones I did early. Um, and uh, 
have fun. I mean, it's really, it's really relaxing and fun. You can cut these out in front of your TV. Now, if you want to afterwards, you can go through. And uh, I like to leave the base done. But uh, I will get them to where they don't flop around uh, too much. And uh, glue them down. But I leave the tips because I think that gives it, you know, it gives it some body. And uh, I like it. I like the way it looks. And I think they're darling. Now. I want to show y'all something amazing. <laughs> um, I'm going to show you <laughs> my scraps from cutting all these. There's not much left. But this was a bowl full of scraps. And that's all that's left is little pieces that you can't really use. You can't do anything with these. So, yeah, half a, a waste basket full um, that I have got to throw away. And here's some more to put in my waste basket that I trimmed. I'm going to clean my desk. Um, but thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, it's turning cold here. Um, it's been really chilly. <clears throat> But uh, I hope y'all are enjoying this series. And if you are, let me know in the comments below. Um, and if you'd rather see something else done, um, my inspiration comes from everywhere on the YouTube. Um, I have seen this done for years. Um, I don't know who started it. Um, but uh, when I was doing this series, I was like, what am I going to do next? And I was like, oh. I can make some of those flowers. Now, you can make a whole flower. You know, take up the whole card, make a whole flower. And I may do that and cut them out, cut around them. And that way I'll have a still flower and be able to put it on top of a journal or send it in friend mail, um, things like that. But I want it to make journaling cards, and I'm going to make some bases for birthday cards, things like that. Thank you cards, stuff like that. Um, but it gets rid of a lot. Of your you know scraps and you're doing something useful with them now I have I'm gonna show y'all my all of them it took me three days because I only worked ever so long with them because you know scissors I don't have the wide mouth scissors like a lot of people have and they'll rub blisters on me <laughs> uh, and they start hurting me so I have to quit so it took me three days to get all these cut by hand. And then I distressed all of them. Every one of them has distress around them. Um, but they're ready to go. I've got my solids here. I've got blues and green. Well, greens and uh, different colored greens and blues. And then blues and purples and purples and maroonish. And then I've got, you know, the different kinds of writing paper and, or text paper, um, maps and just florals and just whatever I had around here. Um, so I have a mixture of everything and I can't wait to start doing the pretty bright colors. Um, that's really going to be pretty um, for spring and everything. So I can't wait to start on those. I even have some set here. Uh, I have a set that I'm going to do on this journaling card. And this is a card base. And I'm going to do one on card base. So that's what I'll be doing tonight. Um, yeah, and it's like, it's like two minutes till seven. And my daughter and him just left to go get all of us something to eat. And um, she's bringing me something to eat. And uh, they're moving out uh, another week or so. I'll be uh, be here cleaning up after they move out and um, be watching my grandson, uh, getting him off to school and back and everything because they're leaving before the end of the semester um, uh, during winter break. So uh, they're going to move out completely probably ne by next week. They should be completely out. 
uh, but he's going to stay with me so he can keep going to school and start his new school uh, in January. Uh, so he didn't want to miss out on a lot of stuff. But anyway, I will talk to y'all later. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. And I just think these are so darling. And um, I think Melina, I want to say her name right, Pliant or Pliant, Pliant, Plant. I think it's Pliant, though, is her name. Now, she has a YouTube channel. Her mom has a YouTube channel. She does all kinds of stuff, and she does scrap busters. And I think she was the last one I saw do this. Um, but anyway, go check her out. Um, I don't have her link or I would do it. Um, but anyway, uh, Mel Melina, P Y L A N T, I think. Don't quote me on it. But, uh, anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, like I said, leave me a comment down below with what y'all would like to see next or, you know, if y'all found something on YouTube that you think I need to try, let me know, and I will talk to y'all later. Bye.